Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add FAQ or FAQ section on your Wix website in 2023. A FAQ section is a great way to provide answers to common questions your visitors may have and improve their overall user experience. In this video, I'll show you how to do it quickly and easy, so let's just get started. Before we start with this video, Make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So now what we need to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. As an example, you can use Google Chrome, you can use Firefox, you can use Opera, you can use Brave like me, even an Internet Explorer if it's working for you. So whatever browser you have or you want to use, go ahead and use it. Once you do that, of course, you can simply go to your URL section and simply type wix.com and hit the enter button. That should take you directly to the home screen or the main screen of Wix website. And of course, here, if you have an account, you can simply click on the login option and that will take you to this page. Of course, here you can simply enter your email and check this remember me option if you don't want to keep logging in into your account every time you get into the site or into the website. Of course, if you forgot your email, you can simply click here so you can get this back or remember it. Of course, make sure to read this term of use and privacy policy so you don't get in any future troubles. As you can see, you can read them very carefully because it's very important so you don't have any problems in the future with Wix company. Of course, this site is protected by reCAPTCHA Enterprise, Google Privacy and Terms of Use apply, so make sure to read them. And of course, you can even log in into your account with Google, Facebook or even Apple or with your SSO. If you don't have an account, make sure to click on the sign up option and of course, from here, you can create your account by entering your email, then retype in your email, creating a password and type in your password again, then clicking on sign up. Of course, again, you can create your account with a Google account or even Facebook account. And by signing up, you're agreed to our term of use and the knowledge you've read our privacy policy. It's the same as I showed you before. So for me, let me just fill this information real quick right here. Let's see an example that's going to be my email. I'm just going to retype it or like this. The password, let's say it's going to be something like this. And let's just re enter it. And here we are. As I said, you can or you don't have to fill all of those if you want. You can simply click Add Continue with Google if you have your Google account already connected and choose the email or the Gmail that you want to connect with. For me, I choose the same email that I choose here. So now let me just save this. So next time I want to log in or something, I'll not have to fill those manually. And here I'll have to answer a quick survey. So let's set up with the right tools first. Who are you creating websites for? Of course, you can answer those questions or you can simply click on skip. So do whatever suits you for me. Let's say an example for me or my business or friends. So I'll click on continue. And here, what kind of websites are you creating? Let's say an example, online store. Click on next. Should not take a lot of time, this survey. And of course, if you're getting bored, as I said, always click on skip. Enter your store name. Let's say an example, it's going to be something like this. Click on next. Because this survey will even help you uh, understand them a lot and even they will, will even help you and give you a recommendation based on your survey right here. So let's say an example is going to be blog, I don't know, maybe music, video, and click on next. Why not? So here, as you can see, we can simply now go to our dashboard. And as you can see, they are preparing my dashboard right now. So I'll have to wait a couple of seconds and I'm going to be right there. So as you can see, now we are at the dashboard of my Wix account. And here, of course, I would like to finish this 
steps to set up my store as an example i'll have to add a first my first products and then set up a payment method then of course set up shipping and delivery address then design my website then connect to a custom domain then get found by customers on google so of course if you want to add it or add facts section into our Wix website so we can simply go to this left panel and scroll down into the bottom and click on apps of course that will take you to the app market of Wix websites right away here we will simply go to the search option and simply type Wix back and hit the enter button. That should take us to this option. Make sure to click on this Wix FAQ or FAQ. And this is the app that I will recommend to you because it is provided by Wix, which is the same website and it's pretty decent. Of course, if you want to explore other options, you'll find here a lot of other options. So explore your options very well and do your own research if you want for us as you can see this app is available worldwide so you can use it wherever you are at the world and there are several wide options of languages including bulgarian chinese czech danish dutch english finnish french and a lot of other languages so don't worry about this side and of course this works facts overview will give you several features including add a beautiful fact to your wix site in a few clicks choosing from a variety of facts layout styles and create categories questions and answers with a's and customize all the title and text colors on your fact of course you can even read all the features if you want and if you're worried about anything you can always go down to this average rating and you can see what people rated it the most and of course this rating is based on close to 1000 reviews of course you can see what people are facing any problems or if they like it what they like about it of course then simply click on add to site and this will be ready installed right away you can even open it and customize your fact section uh, depending on your design of your website of course you can customize the themes the colors even the fonts and a lot of other stuffs so it can match the design of your website once you finish you can even open another website as an example and go as a customer present to be a customer and go to your website and check if everything is all right if you have any problems you can always go back here and edit whatever you want on your facts section if everything if everything is good that will be for this tutorial on how to add facts section on your wix website 2023 remember by adding this section you can save time by answering common questions up front and make your visitors experience more pleasant and efficient so start adding a fact section to your wix website today and watch your visitors enjoy a more seamless experience don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one